People have nowhere to go to get away from the toxic battle between right and left. There is no refuge for the reasonable. So we have to create one. And we begin tonight by debating what seems irrational to see how we get to reasonable by shining the light on one of these flashpoints of frustration. The debate over what is okay on campus. Let's bring in Mark Lamont Hill, professor, CUNY Graduate Center, host Al Jazeera English. He's got his PhD from UPenn. This guy's got like 100 degrees, by the way. And uh, Alan Dershowitz, Harvard Law professor, emeritus, author of War Against the Jews, How to End Hamas Barbarism. It's good to see you both. Uh, happy Hanukkah, Professor Dershowitz. It's good to see you. Mark, happy it's good to see you, brother. Um, so, um, Professor Dershowitz, what happened in Congress with the presidents not giving adequate answers, according to Congress, to questions they knew were coming means what to you? Means that she can't any longer serve as president of Harvard by her own standards. When she was the dean of the faculty, she fired uh, Ron Sullivan, who was the dean of one of the colleges, because he, for one month, represented Weinstein. And then she said he didn't satisfactorily explain and justify what he had done to the students. And she said a dean has to be more than just a teacher, has to be a pastor, and has to understand the fears of the students. And he was fired not because he did anything wrong, but because students were afraid under his deanship. Students are afraid under her presidency. They are terrified. Jewish students don't want to come to class. They don't think the university has done enough. And the time has come for her to acknowledge that. And by her own standards, by the standards she imposed, she imposed on a dean, Dean Ron Sullivan, she has to leave. Mark, we've talked about this before. And I do think you have to be careful not to make it seem like all the protests that are going on our campuses are saying uh, kill the Jews or anything ugly like that. Uh, overwhelmingly, it's about pro-Palestine. I don't uh, see it even the way Professor Dershowitz does. There's certainly people who are way too um, forgiving of what Hamas did. But pro-Hamas, I think, is a very, very small fraction of what we're dealing with. And yet and yet, Mark, isn't the standard always for these institutions that if people feel targeted, you treat them like they're being targeted and you protect them and you don't let those voices come on campus that threaten them and you go after students who seem to represent them but not with the Jewish students. Why? Yeah, I don't accept the, the premise there. I, I think that in the case of the congressional hearings, all three presidents were pretty uh, vocal and articulate about saying that they will do everything they can to protect Jewish students, that they abhor anti-Semitism, and that they don't want anti-Semitic threats, anti-Semitic language, anti-Semitic actions uh, to play out. Do you out. think any of them think would the have answered the like, questions I, I the think, same I, way if it was I, black or trans they were being asked about? You I think, think they would I have think, said, well, well, it depends, it depends. Well, they, they, they didn't say it depends, it depends. That's, that's a little bit... They, exactly they did say it depends, they, they said, it depends. They said, they they said, said depends context, context matters. I have context. to look at the context. Right. Context right. means so, it depends. Come on, Mark. Right. Well, no, 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 no. But but it, it depends what suggests to the audience that it was just arbitrary or capricious. I'm saying they were making a very specific historically informed argument that I'd, I'd like you to allow me to, to explain. Um, Go ahead, bud. On college campuses right now, uh, there are Palestinian students uh, and, and Congresswoman uh, Stefanik talked about this, who say intifada, intifada. For her, the, the, by screaming intifada during a protest, that is a march, that is a call for genocide. That was specifically what she was asking about. And I think as a university president, you have to balance, obviously, safety, but also you have to balance an environment of free speech. If people were walking through campus saying that you should be harmed, that Jewish people should be have bad things happen to them, if people were, 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 were uh, you know, trafficking in stereotypes or, or threats, I agree with you a thousand percent. They should be gone. And, there's, and full stop. What they're talking about is not that. What they're talking about is a case where if I call for a one state solution, someone could say, as, as Alan has said to me before, that's a demographic genocide to the to uh, to Jewish people. So if I call for a one state solution, I'm calling for genocide. If I say intifada, I'm calling for genocide. If I say free Palestine from the river to the sea, it's genocide. And so if you as a president say, I won't allow 
any type of genocide talk in the context, the specific context that she was talking about, you're also uh, you're also silencing free speech. Uh, it would be like if 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 you if I said blue lives matter to me as a black person means that that cops are going to kill black people, and therefore, Chris, as a university president, if you allow people to march and say blue lives matter, you're allowing genocide marches. You'd say, well, that's not fair. It's a context thing. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.